Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Sean Dexter and I welcome you back to the Mango Grove daily analysis video. It's the end of the week. It is Friday. So let's go ahead and keep this one short and sweet. Bitcoin over here, the plan has not change guys we are still accumulating in this blue territory over here if we close the week underneath this blue territory we will go ahead and get out of that position right we do it the mango way we do it the stress-free way if this then that what do we talk about in yesterday's video please go ahead and watch yesterday's video if you missed it it's a lot more in depth and um detailed i want to keep this one short but we were looking for essentially bitcoin to test this red box territory over here essentially this four hour 10 sma we got that test we got the rejection just like expected and i did take some profits over there not the entire position remember guys we don't try to get cute because the trend could just keep going without us when you try to maximize on your profits this was a high probability play so i did take some looking to reposition somewhere down over here and hey, it worked out, right? And what are we looking for exactly? We're looking for that rejection. And if Bitcoin were to continue, I was looking for two four-hour candles over that 10 SMA. Again, these are the little things you guys should be noting down when I say it on those videos because these are good plays. What happened? We closed one candle over, but we did not close two, right? We're looking for two four-hour candles over this 10 SMA. The second candle closed underneath. This is classic, guys. And after that, you get the drive down, the drive down that we've been looking for so that we get the rest of our position. And hey, Bitcoin coming in right over here. And I did add to my position just before this video. Took some profits over here, added over here too, actually. No, not on the wick, somewhere around here. And now just um, added a position as well. So am I completely happy with my position? For the most part, for the most part, I'm looking for one more ad right underneath this wick over here, basically at the bottom of this blue box territory. This Tenkin, the weekly Tenkin is lining up with that. So let's go ahead and look at the weekly levels. Essentially, this is what we are playing, guys. It does have confluence with the daily levels as well as the monthly levels. We talked about that in yesterday's video. Go ahead and watch yesterday's video. So right over there, we see the Tenkin. Now we may come and wick over there and I'm looking for one last fill over there. Now this is where it gets interesting and pay attention here, guys, pay attention. As long as that wick happens, the last low, the last low, okay, in this territory, in this blue box, right over here that we're looking at. As long as it happens, before the end of the month, I'm going to be completely fine with my position and I'm likely going to add over there when it does happen, okay? However, and this is where things get interesting and a little bit more complicated. Listen, listen to me and pay attention. Maybe note this one down. If we end up closing the month, closing the month in the next two days or so, and then come and wick down there, I'm likely going to be de-risking on my position and on every bounce, perhaps 9,100, I'm going to be getting out of my position and waiting to see how the month unfolds, okay? So essentially, I will not be looking for a big trend trade until things are clearer to me. If, if the low happens after the end of this month, okay? If we wick onto this tank in after the end of the month. Why am I saying that? Essentially, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a weekly higher low to be set in over here. Okay, so we essentially have, you could either say that this is the weekly low, previous low, or this is the weekly low, whichever one you want to look at. If you're looking at the swing low, it's hey, 6,400. If you're looking at, the, looking at the actual low, I would say 6,842. Either way, I'm hunting for a weekly low to be set in over here, kind of like how I was hunting for a low over here, right? 8,241. For that thesis to remain intact, what I am looking at is the monthly level at the moment. If this monthly candle closes like this with the current low being around 8,520, 8,520, remember that. If the monthly low holds as 8,520, then it needs to hold or get defended going into next month. With a candle like this, if you guys are on the seed program, you need to watch the candlestick analysis module. With the candle like this, I want the next candle to defend this low over here at 8,520. If we tick underneath that next month, then that's a no-go for me. I'm going to be waiting for things to be a little bit more clear and get out of my leverage position. Again, guys, it's a bigger position. I want to be a little bit more safe on this one. I do have safety protections put in place anyways, but again, again, with the whole macro situation as well right now, I'm talking about 
other markets, S&P looking like shit, coronavirus, etc., etc. I just want to be a little bit more cautious. I don't want to throw away the great year we've already had. Remember what I talked about, guys. When you have an amazing, amazing start, usually people tend to get overconfident. They get invincible. They feel invincible and they end up giving it all back. I don't want that to happen. Being on the more cautious side over here, remember, if this, then that. We don't try to be right. We try to be on the right side of the market. That's the mango way. So that's what I'm looking for, guys. We don't, if, the, if, if we take out the low, the low before the month ends, so essentially between um, today and the close of the month, if we go ahead and hit 8,450-ish, which is the weekly 10 can, let's go ahead. As long as it happens before the end of the month, no big deal, no big deal. And I'd rather it happen before the end of the month so the bulls have more room to play with going into the next month. But hey, anything can happen, so let's just take it one step at a time. That's what I'm playing, okay? That's what I'm playing. Until then, we are being patient, we are being patient, and we are waiting for things to play out, all right? No harm in just being patient. All right, so that's um, Bitcoin, guys. Let's go ahead and, is there anything else I wanna talk about? Okay, the daily, we can go ahead and talk about the daily. The daily, we are sitting on the Kijun, the daily 200. As of right now, we are living underneath it, but we did close over both of it yesterday, or basically this morning, okay? The daily 200, defended. The Kijun, defended. A good look. The question is, do we defend it again? Do we defend it again? Do we see Bitcoin get picked up over here? We very well may, okay? This signature over here is looking very familiar, very familiar, but it all depends on how the next two days actually go. All right, so um, that's Bitcoin daily, weekly, monthly. I want to keep this video short, okay? Now let's go ahead and look at Link BTC, and then we look at Link USD. Ooh, Link, ah, looking actually pretty good. This is the daily too. Wow. Link. Closing over the 10 SMA, this does actually look like it wants to see continuation, doing exactly what we looked for actually, eh? We're up hitting the top, <laughs> this is, there's not much, to <laughs> oh my God, man, Link is so strong. Oops, what am I doing there? Link BDC and one week time frame. right over there. So yeah, waking off the tank in, seeing the continuation, seeing that resistance right over here at 45,000 um, Satoshi on the weekly level. Let go, let's go ahead and mark this candle right over here. Link BDC and FBDC is making me think that, hey, this market has a lot more juice. It is actually very, very impressive seeing the entire, the entire um, macro situation right now and seeing how Link is reacting, how Ethereum is reacting, and Bitcoin not seeing that massive dump that people would have expected if the corona epidemic, blah, 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 was as bearish for the world right usually in my opinion bitcoin is not the safe haven everybody thinks it is um not yet at the very least we might be seeing some signs um but the world is usually risk on risk off i would expect with the s p seeing the dump it is bitcoin also see continuation to the downside but hey this is why we play technical analysis first and fundamentals second if i was playing fundamentals first i would not be taking that trade on bitcoin guys because the markets overall are looking like crap but look at the technicals man you have to take that play on the weekly 21 weekly 10 can monthly 10 can have to take the play in my opinion if you're wrong there's a way to mitigate that risk and then move on to the next trade over here chain link looking really really great which is why again this is the same the same play i took on bitcoin i was looking to uh, take on on chain link as well and you guys should have been taking this play if you are watching chain link like a hawk and very bullish i should have taken this play i missed it weekly tankin on the on chain link lining up with this major horizontal on the ascending triangle was a great play what was that win let's go ahead and do um percent a good 25 percent guys i'm i'm I am freaking kicking myself for missing this move. It hurts that I missed this move. I actually planned for this move. And hey, live and learn, right? Live and learn. Next time, set the alert and take the play, Sean. Set the alert and take the play. I thought I'd remember, but I actually got zoned in on BTC, got zoned in on my spot buys, and I missed this one. Looking good. This is the major level we want Chainlink to close over. 4,519 Satoshi, guys. This purple line over here, give or take, I'm rounding off. If we close the week above that, I'd be looking for further continuation, probably taking out these highs over here at 48,000 Satoshi, 48,500 Satoshi, somewhere around. And hey, just, just freaking blue sky breakout after that. We'll have to look at the lower time frames to get some kind of idea. But for now, weekly levels are 45,000-ish Satoshi. That's what we're looking at. Okay, Link BTC. Let's go ahead and look at Link USD. Honestly, I think Link BTC is a chart to be playing. Very, very clear. Wow. Link USD also looking really, really good over here, guys. The weekly holding above uh, $3.85. How did the daily close? Let's go ahead and see. Closing over the 21. 
Wow, man, Link is looking so good. Closing over the 21, defending that 21 over here, guys. The 10 SMA is being... Didn't I say eh, Didn't I say this, guys, in yesterday's video? Didn't I say the tank is likely going to shoot up here? Or did I say it was going to shoot up over here? Something like that, something like that. Anyways, anyways, this is... Um, Link is... I'm just excited for you guys, because I'm not in the Link trade. I'm happy for you guys who are in a Link trade. Link is such a strong, strong asset. Like, it's such a strong chart, guys. Man, this is so good. So, yeah, closing over the 21 very very good defending the 21 very very good this 10 sma um bearish cross is being defended as well it looks like if we close over the 10 and the 10 sma next i'll be looking towards four dollars and 45 cents perhaps actually i can increase it slightly just a tad bit four dollars and 48 cents somewhere around there this over here looked a little bit trappy but hey if we close about this zone then i'll be looking for link to perhaps go all the way back up to these highs over here four dollars and 80 cents and then perhaps five dollars right that's our weekly levels where do we get that from yep the weekly high if this is the weekly high on both binance as well as coinbase that's essentially what you're looking at but to be honest we can start we can begin to start ignoring that and look at these two wicks over here these highs over here at four dollars and 87 cents we have kind of double topped right over there right let's look at that let's look at that that's going to be our new major level right over there guys four dollars and 88 cents double topping over there seeing the drive down not seeing the follow through instead the bulls are showing the strength over here showing their strength putting in a defense of the daily 21 EMA, do we start a daily uptrend? Let's go ahead and look at the 4-hour. Have we broken the 4-hour downtrend? We've broken the 4-hour downtrend, putting in a 4-hour uptrend now. Wow, this is, this, is, this is tempting. Maybe this is my opportunity to get in, but this is LinkUSD. I am not interested in LinkUSD. Let's look at the 4-hour on LinkBTC, guys. Where's LinkBTC? LinkBTC, Binance. Looking strong. If I was looking to buy, I would be looking to buy at 43,000 Satoshi, and I missed that as well. It's been a hectic week, so the next good buying opportunity would be around this zone over here, if it even comes there, but this is looking really, really strong. Again, I don't get too caught up in the low time frames, guys. You guys are probably looking at this on the high time frames as well. If you guys are following it, the man go away. You guys should be looking at it at the high time frames. Um, looks like seeing, seeing a rejection of the of this high over here i may get an opportunity to add a position at 42,766 actually hmm do i take that do i take that yeah so a test of that would be a buy opportunity but that'd be a little bit aggressive i'll go for the more cautious opportunity and, and wait for an opportunity perhaps on the tenkin and the 21 cluster right over here at around 45,000 satoshi i'm not sure if i get that the next obvious play would be a candle close above 45,666 satoshi i like that a lot better i may try for a play over here but i'd rather wait for a candle close above these guys over here and try for an opportunity Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Again, guys, the big play, the big trade, I missed it. All right. It was the daily Kijun. It was the weekly Tenkin. It was the top of this ascending triangle right over here at 36,566. I missed it. You guys probably got it. Good for you. I don't want to chase a trade when I missed the, the really nice opportunity. Okay. So that's Link PDC. That's Link USD. Um, both looking really strong. Let's look at FUSD. FUSD, not the hottest, not the hottest. It's not showing what you'd want to see either, right? You're not seeing that. Is this the front run of the Kijun or? The thing is with Ethereum, I think the best way to play it is either looking at the weekly time frames and being patient, wait for the test of the tank in all the 21 and 10 SME, wait for either one of those, which would line up with Bitcoin, perhaps even coming down even lower or just look at the Ed BTC chart, which is what I am doing, and be like, hey, you know what? This is looking pretty good because Ed BTC, last I remember, is getting defended on this daily 21 MA, on this 10 kin. This does look like it wants to get reaccumulated here and try higher. However, if we do take out this wick down here at uh, 24,600 Satoshi, then I do think we come and test the Kijun, okay? So very easy to play this, guys. You can play off this 10 kin and 21 EMA, look for look for accumulation and then us get us see a rally from here, which is actually looking pretty healthy overall. You're not seeing the drive down after losing this accumulation, right? Over here, looked like an accumulation top. Spending too much time on this daily 21 EMA. If the bears want to see continuation, they do want to see it fast. Let's go ahead and look at the four hour time frame. And right over here, we have four hour might be setting in a high or low over here. We've put in a lower high, a lower low. A higher high and now a low higher low over here and now a higher high right after that if i do see that kind of structure i'll be looking to buy the 21 ema on the next test if we do see something in like that it will also line up with the 10 sma and the 21 ema crossing as well so fbdc in my opinion 
not the worst look at all. Seeing that rejection of the Kijun over here, I am not sure if I'd be looking to play against that Kijun. But, 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 hey, sitting on weekly support right over here as well, though, right? This is not the easiest of calls. Not at all, but actually, I do think this lines up with the blue box right over there. Hmm. So if we if we do close underneath this blue box over here, guys, I do think we may come and test um, the lower blue box right over here, lining up with the Tenkin and the 21 EMA. Okay, so yeah, we didn't have those horizontals on, and yeah, so. Yeah, at BDC on the weekly time frame, depends on how this weekly closes. The weekly wants to see a close within the blue box, the purple line that we just drew. Other than that, we do have um, these wick low supports at around 24,000. Already tested that though, already tested that. So if we lose that, I do think, if we lose this blue box, I do think we may actually come and give a test to this this neckline right over here of this w like formation of this ascending like formation it was also a bull flag that we broke out of right so let's go ahead and keep an eye on that um by bull flag i mean like descending channel that we had drawn a long 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 time ago but um yeah that's pretty much it guys my name is sean dexter i hope you guys enjoyed this video bitcoin sitting on weekly levels link sitting on weekly levels on the top um ethereum sitting on weekly levels as well everything on its weekly levels how this week closes is going to tell a lot it's going to line up with the monthly close as well on bitcoin so yeah things are getting interesting it's time to be patient and watch things unfold I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will likely be doing a video on Sunday next. I don't think I'll be doing a video tomorrow. I'll try, I'll try, but I do have a um, long, long day planned for tomorrow. So let's see, let's see. So again, guys, throw a like, throw a subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Enjoy the rest of your day.